Hey everybody, channel's called Driving Home. I'm Lamont and welcome to another one of my videos. Now what we're looking at is a hole that's in the roof of my friend's conversion van. My friend is Mitzi and her channel on YouTube is called Mitz Adventures. For those of you who have not seen the video I did about the paintings that I got from Mitzi, I will post a link in the video description to her channel. Now this hole is in a somewhat tricky location on the roof. There's a bit of a rise on the front side of the hole and the back side of the hole and the whole roof has sort of a curvature to it in addition to the fact that the fiberglass is rather flexible around the hole and I wasn't entirely sure the best method to patch it. I even considered the idea of just repairing the fiberglass. Um, but that's a that's something I've never done. And from what I could see online, you really would need to tear away or uh, grind away some of the surface of the fiberglass to lay in some fiberglass patches. And even then, I think that the backside of the hole would need to be supported by maybe a wire mesh or something. Well, anyway, we, we decided that um, given our limitations on budget and time and whatnot, we would go for uh, a simpler solution. So with all the scraping out of the way, we're going to go in with a little simple green and a cloth and try and clean off any debris and dust that might be left behind so that we can give the waterproof tape that I came across the best chance of adhering to this painted fiberglass roof. Now the tape that I'm going to use to seal this hole is called Aqua Seal Tape and it's a waterproof tape that I stumbled across in the plumbing department at Home Depot. So I placed the first strip of the two on the rearward part of the hole, closest to the rear of the vehicle. And I'm just rubbing it down with my fingers. Forgive my dry skin. It's cold and I'm not very good about putting lotion on my hands. <laughs> now, one of the nice things about this tape is it has this protective paper covering over the adhesive which makes the tape really easy to work with. I thought I would flip it over and show that to you before I applied the second strip to the front side of that hole. So with the second strip overlapping the first strip, that will help with, as she's driving, water being able to be pushed between the two strips of tape. And again, I'm just rubbing it down, rubbing on it, trying to get the adhesive to stick and making sure there's no air bubbles or um, wrinkles. Um, it looks a little wrinkled, but it's a, a lot smoother <laughs> in person. That's me just scratching at some of the paper backing that was stuck to the top side of the tape. It's not going to affect the seal, but it was just kind of annoying to look at. Well, with the hole completely covered and the tape, at least it seems to be doing a fine job of sticking to the roof. I'm going to consider this project done. Now, what I will do in a future video is climb back up here and take a look around to see if the tape is um, keeping the water out. And if there seems to be an issue, I can always cover the edges and the seam with a little bit of lap sealant. So with this project done, let me take the opportunity to say welcome to all the new subscribers and thank you all for watching. As always, we'll see you in the next video.